Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our single dumbbell suitcase deadlift. The problem with doing double dumbbell exercises is the problem with doing double anything exercises. It costs twice as much money. Most people might be limited on funds, so oftentimes a single dumbbell deadlift will be an option that people will need to do because of economics. We had a double dumbbell deadlift where we pointed our feet straight ahead, we went down, we picked the weights all the way up, we stood all the way up. Our simple, super simple version of a deadlift. With our single dumbbell deadlift, we are going to do all the things we did with our double dumbbell deadlift. Point our feet straight ahead. What we want to avoid is having our feet too wide. If our foot is too wide, then our upper arm isn't vertical. The goal is to bring our feet as close together as is necessary so that when we track down, our arm is as close to vertical as possible over the course of the range of movement. Center line of the foot, center line of the dumbbell handle, feet close together, ankle, knee, hip, all in one vertical line. Keep your arm close to your body, roll your shoulder blade back and down, squeeze your lat for the entire exercise, go all the way down, grab, stand all the way up. At the top, your lat should be on. As you go through the range of movement, the lat should stay on. Oftentimes when people are doing an exercise like this, they will lose the lat fire in the middle. They will fire the lat at the bottom. Halfway up, they will lose the contraction. And then at the top, they will try to roll their shoulder blade back and down in order to squeeze the lat again. If that's where you start, that's fine. But we would like to keep the lat on throughout the entire range of movement. A single deadlift, whether it be with a dumbbell or with a kettlebell, will provide more core contraction for most people. All the way down, stand all the way up, pull the kneecap up at the top, squeeze the glute, drive the rib cage down, fire the lat. Because the weight is on one side of the body, you will get much more core stability. The weight's trying to pull your body out of square, you contract the abs on one side of your body in order to keep your shoulders square the entire time. That's the point. Both versions, double dumbbell and single dumbbell on different days because they are very different types of load. I'm always an advocate for a single kettlebell, single dumbbell, single club because people are going to get a lot more core stability training out of it, which help people a lot because in the modern world, people get a lot of pain, back pain, hip pain, and knee pain from lacking cross-body stability. With something like a single dumbbell deadlift, we would like to do this with volume cycles. You would do five reps on each side, get all the way down, pick it up, lock out, one, two, three, keep the heels all the way down, four, five, and then you would set it down and transition immediately to the other side and do your other five. You're gonna notice one side is easier than the other. On one side, you're gonna to have to focus on keeping your shoulders square more. That's just what happens because everybody has a strong side and everybody has a weak side. The goal of an exercise like this is to help make people more balanced. Run these in the weight ranges that you would run kettlebells in. Think about lightweight for men, 30 pounds, wanting to run into the 70 pound range for your average individuals. And above that, it's probably getting pretty hardcore. For the ladies, same weight ranges as available with kettlebells, somewhere in the 15 pound range to the 35 pound range, depending on frame size, could push into the 50 pound range. I like the weight ranges of 50 to 70 pounds because they are common weights throughout history on how much bags of grain weigh, bags of rice, bags of wheat are all kind of in this range. So it's a very good range to work in and to be very good at more reps, more coordinated skill and less money invested in the overall system.